Good morning all, Saturday morning and time for the update. Late start this morning. I was up following the uh, progress on this big fire we had in Bridgend last night. I could see it from my uh, back garden quite early before all the fire engines turned up. So of course, like a nosy neighbour, I had to put my coat and hat and scarf on and go wandering off for half a mile to go and see where it was. Uh, but it was really kicking off by the time I got there. Police cars, ambulances, it's all over the news today. So where are we then? Nine crosses, that's fine. That's about the same as the uh, judges. And all very much clustered around a certain area where I went on Tuesday. Now, here's the thing. I've seen the thumbnails of a couple of other YouTube BOTB channels throughout the week. I haven't watched the videos yet. I will. Um, and from the thumbnails, they've put the ball above the guy's hand up in that area. And I thought, oh, maybe I need to rethink this then. But of course, all the guys that submitted crosses for us have all gone roughly round about the area where I've gone. So I thought, all right, let's have another look at it then. Perhaps I need to reevaluate this. So I had another look and drew some more lines. And I think I'm still the same sort of area because if I draw a line from him, it's sort of going up in that direction there. And that's in line with his head and his ears and his nose and his eyebrows. Um, if I draw a line from this guy, he's looking quite steep. It seems to me that he's looking quite steep. So he's looking up in that direction as well. Now his other eye sort of isn't looking so steep. His other eye is coming further over here, which could put it above his hand. But then I don't think that would fit in with the guy on the left over here, because I don't think he... It doesn't look too bad if he's looking up in that area, but I don't see how he can be seen as looking up above the hand. So um, I'm not buying it. So that's what I am with this this one. It's uh, I still say that these two Arabian princes are looking uh, looking in that area. So let's have a look at the average for that. Double two six eight one five one five. And again, like I say every week, you know, don't worry about the average so much. It's it's to me, it's about where I think people perceive it to be so um everybody seems to perceive it to be roughly around that same sort of uh that that cluster that sort of area there so i mean the choice is yours i would go anywhere in that area or even outside that area if you like uh but let's have a look at the um let's put the target in there now, i sometimes forget to do the target does that look as though they could all be looking into the zone one there? Um, see, for me, the guy on the right-hand side here, yes, it does. I think he's looking exactly in that area. Um, this fella down here at the front, yeah, his left eye definitely looking straight up to that area. Uh, but his problem is his right eye is looking sort of further over here, which throws it out. And, of course, the guy on the left could be. It doesn't look as though he's looking that high, if I'm honest. Uh, but that's about as near as damn it as I can get it is that sort of area so that's where i am um it doesn't concern me too much because like i say i'm only playing uh, free tickets now in fact i think this might be the last week that i've actually got a free ticket uh so i might have to pay for a ticket next week which will probably be one of the cheaper ones like a, um, a ford focus st or whatever for a pound or one pound ten whatever it is these days plus the one pound fifty um but i'm using the one pound fifty that i won last tuesday anyway so this week is costing me absolutely nothing. But that's what I am. Um, Rev comps, let's have a quick look. And you may remember from Tuesday, I said there's nothing there that appealed to me. The only thing I was going to go for was one ticket on the Range Rover Evoke, just to be in the draw. That was Monday's draw. And now I'm having second thoughts, because I've seen more videos over the last couple of days of the absolute nightmare that's going on with the insurance on Range Rovers. Uh, how... People were paying £1,500 last year for insurance. This year, their renewal quote has been £15,000 because they're an existing customer. And if they were a new customer, they would be looking at twenty five grand insurance because insurance companies just don't want to insure Range Rovers now because they're all getting stolen. And parts are another nightmare. People are having brand new ones. They're going back in for warranty work and sitting there for six months because uh, Jaguar Land Rover haven't got the parts for them. They're an absolute nightmare. So avoid them like the plague, says he, who's bought a ticket to win one. Thursday's draw.
Again, there was nothing really I was interested in here. There's nothing I would play for uh, and, and wanted to actually win other than uh, the Lotus Emira V6 First Edition. Um, that comes with a £70,000 cash alternative. So I bought one ticket on that just to be in it. And you think, well, is it worth buying one ticket? Well, after last week's draw, I had a look at the cars that I bought tickets for, and I looked at the entry list to see how many tickets the winners had bought. And I know there's a couple of you who do that. We've discussed it previously. And the guy that won the camper van that I played for had bought 15 tickets. Fair play to him for committing. Uh, Ford Focus, the winner of that, had bought 10 tickets. But the person that won the Audi RS Q8, uh, or £75,000 cash alternative, had bought one ticket. So, fair play to him. We all like to see the end of it. Maybe he couldn't afford more than that. Maybe he just bought one just to be in it. But uh, well done well done to him for winning uh, 75 grand off one ticket. So, a bit of a poor show for me this week. I've got uh, one on Monday's draw and one on Thursday's draw. What I have done, and I don't play this very often, is the giveaway, guys. Um, I've played it a couple of times. I played it for a camper last week. But I noticed that in, two, I think this draws in about two weeks' time, two weeks tomorrow, Sunday, uh, £25,000 cash, £2.50 a ticket, but they're selling 40,000 tickets near enough. But the first prize is 25 grand cash, and there's 25 runners up of £1,000 each. Well, £1,000 not to be sniffed at, is it? I'll probably take that for the sake of £2.50. I'll probably buy two or three tickets. Um, so, you know, each ticket you got has got. 26 chances of winning so i thought well oh, yeah actually yeah i probably will i probably will buy a couple of tickets for that because uh obviously the 25 grand would be nice but um 25 runners up of a thousand pound hmm, yeah i'm interested in that so i won't be buying anything else on that website i don't think but uh but i will buy some tickets for this because uh they, they're sort of good odds so that's it for me guys uh have a lovely weekend um, I'll speak to you again on Tuesday and good luck.